Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter here with Drone Nerds, and today we're gonna talk about how to become a drone pilot. We're gonna go over specifically how to get your part 107 certificate. Anyone can go to the store, buy a drone, pick it up and fly. But if you're going to use your drone for any type of business, you will need your part 107 certificate. Business would be using your drone to either make money or advance your business in any way. An example would be putting on a free photo shoot for a hotel. Some of the ways drone pilots can make money include real estate, marketing, surveying, building and construction, entertainment, and insurance. If you want to fly your small UAS as part of the Part 107 rule, you have to obtain a certificate from the FAA. So who is eligible to fly your small UAS under the Part 107 rule? First time pilots must be at least 16 years of age, be in physical and mental condition to fly a drone, be able to read, speak, write, and understand English, and pass the initial knowledge exam, unmanned aircraft general. After you pass that initial exam, you must complete online recurrent training every 24 calendar months to maintain that knowledge. There are many study guides to help you pass that Part 107 exam. I personally used a online training course. The first step in the process to becoming a drone pilot is to obtain an FAA tracking number, which is basically an application and profile prior to your registration for the knowledge test. After you have completed a course or studied for your test, the next step in the process is to schedule an appointment with an FAA approved knowledge testing center and be sure you bring your photo ID to the test. Last and final step in the process is to pass the initial knowledge test unmanned aircraft general. Take note, this is not an easy test and you will have to have knowledge in several different areas. Some of the areas of the test include operation at night, airport operations, radio communication procedures, emergency procedures, weather patterns, crew resource management, maintenance and pre-flight inspection, decision making and judgment, and more. Once you pass that test, you will have your remote pilot certificate and you must have it on you at all times when flying. Another important thing to note, the FAA requires you to register your drone. You can complete the registration online and it's good for three years. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds going over some of the basic requirements on how to become a drone pilot. For a more detailed look, go to the FAA website. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike, happy flying, stay safe, have a nice day.